So this is lesson three on the meetings, lesson three on the meetings. So we're going to talk about what happens in a meeting. That's what we're going to talk about today. What happens when a meeting is called? So there's a set of procedures and, and, and rules for planning the meeting, arranging the meeting, and we're going to talk about the key players here. So procedures for organizing the meeting, and we have to follow what we call Robert's rule of order, which is an, a manual with rules for conducting meetings in a civilized and orderly manner. The manual contains rules to guide a chairperson in maintaining order during a meeting and also to guide members on how they should participate at a meeting. Robert's rule of order is what we also know as parliamentary procedures or, or rules of order, which is used for conduct, excuse, conduct of parliament. Now, before the business of a meeting starts, the chairperson checks to ensure that there is a quorum. And we know quorum is the number of persons required to be present in order for the meeting to start. If insufficient, members are not present, a meeting cannot be conducted. So if you don't have the numbers, the meeting cannot be conducted. It must be postponed. So if a chairperson is, is absent, the vice chairperson conducts the meeting. If both chair and vice chair are absent, the secretary calls on members to nominate someone to act as chairperson. If the person accepts, he or she will conduct the meeting. The chairperson calls the meeting to order and guides the, dis the discussions of the meeting according to the items on the agenda. He or she instructs the secretary to read any letters of apology for absence and also to read the minutes of the last meeting if they were not circulated to members. Any corrections to the minutes are made by the secretary after which they are approved as read and or amended. The chairperson then signs the minutes and matters arising out of the minutes are discussed at this stage. All questions... are directed to the chairperson. Only one person speaks at a time after being permitted to do so by the chairperson. The person addresses the chair by standing and saying, Mr. Chairperson or Mr. Chairman, if a gentleman, if it's a lady, Madam Chairperson or Madam Chairman. So the secretary will then read other correspondence and explain any papers, points raised, sorry, on papers read. The other items on the agenda are dealt with one after the other. The secretary makes notes of what's transpired during the meeting. If a discussion stays from the point under discussion, if a member strays, sorry, from the points under discussion, the chairman rules the matter out of order. The matter is said to lie on the table when no decision can be reached on it. So let's look at that. Voting at the meeting, there would be a ballot indicating one's choice. So you can do your vote on a prepared ballot. You can write on paper and placing it in the ballot box. You can use a proxy, and remember, a proxy is someone who is there to vote, selected to vote, authorized to vote on your behalf. Yeah, we also have by post, indicating one's choice on a special paper and sending it to the secretary through the post. Show of hands, so you can raise your hands, standing, Members stand to indicate their choice, or you can say A or N, or yes or no. All right. What are some of the supplies that you need? So we need, of course, an attendance register. 
so that you can re register the name of the persons who are there. Stationery, writing materials, so pens, paper, extra copies of the agenda for those who may not have the agenda with them. Forgive me, I just went up a little bit too much. A microphone to amplify speech. You have an overhead projector to make visual presentations, right? You have computer with appropriate software, right? To also make presentations. Television to view visual presentations. I think I may have gone down a little too much, but there's still um, resources needed. Minutes of previous meetings. And that's to remind the persons of what has transpired before. File of correspondence. So you will have letters of apology for acceptance, correspondence received, et cetera, in this file. Standing orders to remind anyone of the matters concerning the conduct of the meeting. Copies of motions submitted by members to allow everyone his or her motion. Right? Um, to, to allow everyone to read the motion before the proposers um, gives the motion or to follow along. Notification from any member of any item to be included in the agenda, right? So you let everyone know how the items was included in the agenda. A proxy instrument to verify that another person is authorized to attend and vote on behalf of a member who is unable to attend and any supporting papers or documents to further clarify anything. All right. So in the, in the recording before, we would have gone through what the chairperson does, what the secretary does during, after the meeting. Yeah on the day of the meeting. So please remember to read, read through, right? Immediately after the meeting, what you do. Yes, before the meeting. So you have the before the meeting, during the meeting, after the meeting. 